Today we're gonna talk about the NYC situationships that I was in and the lessons that you all, my fellow sisters, can learn from it. When I think about the way we used to be. What's up guys, Myla here. You guys have asked and I'm delivering. Going back to the first situationship in chronological order, we would have to go back to Abuja. I went back to Nigeria a month before camp began. These people had asked me to register. <sighs> These people asked me to register online. We said, okay. Now, before we get to Abuja, and I'm painting all these stories, so when I react, you see why I reacted. We went to Abuja a week, or maybe three days after we just got into Lagos. If you're going to the airport and you live in Lekki Phase 2, mm -hmm. you know the time that you will stand up because the traffic in that Lekki, first of all, <laughs> we first do it too before we now took our traffic on the mainland and then getting all your clearance to get into the airport it was team too much the goal was to get to the nyc offices as they opened the door this is nigeria like i ain't finna stay in this line we get to the nyc offices just as they open glory to god we're standing in the line we're going through Back then, the US and the UK were grouped together in an office, which I thought was unfair because naturally a lot of Nigerian people came from the UK. And so that line was crazy long, but it was just US. How many of us were there? We're not plenty. It was probably four hours later when it got to our turn. As they confirmed, confirmed, smart Niger girl as I am, I'm seeing other people bending down, they're kneeling down. One second. Mommy, Daddy, <laughs> good afternoon, Ma. <laughs> good afternoon, sir. These are people that are British. The spirit of respect was on everybody. So I guess in my turn, me too. Ah, Mommy, ah, Mommy, I can't see my Mommy, I do. Mommy, this, <laughs> Mommy, this is my paper. Mommy, I'm going register. I'm going register for you. So yeah, I gave her my paper. I'm thanking her already. Just trying to make conversation. The woman takes my paper. She looks at my paper and then she looks at me. She looks at my paper. Then she looks at me. So me, I'm like, okay. And she was like, did you go to a four year university? I'm like, are, are, they, are we having interview questions? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I went to the university of Georgia. I graduated with a bachelor's in psychology and she was like, oh, lakai. She goes ahead and she's raining abuses in Yoruba. Honestly, I felt like I was in the twilight zone. Like, is this, is this really happening to me? And she was like, do you not see the picture you have on your application form? I was like, yeah, I see it. And she was like, do you not know the difference between a selfie and a passport photo? <sighs> And then something just arose on the inside of me. I went into a soliloquy, people, a one man show. I was like, guys, why are we doing this? This is ridiculous. <laughs> I was so upset. I was crying so hard. I didn't know that Nigeria was for rough people. Like, if you don't have extra skin, you will cry all the time. Long story short, I did my registration. It took me three days. The Ogaoga of the Ogaoga that finally helped us. God took my... Oh, thank you, Jesus. Can we just stop and just pause and just thank God for a favor? I get to camp and the first day of registration, see, we're doing another what? Paper registration. A guy walks up to me. Let's call this guy Yemi. And he was like, you don't remember me. I'm like, who are you? I don't remember you. I don't know you. And he was like, oh, I'm Yemi. We met in Abuja. So I'm thinking, okay. I didn't meet anybody in Abuja, but okay. He was like, ah, oh, we met in Abuja. He was like, you're that girl. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't know that the whole time I was having my meltdown, there was a guy that was <laughs> watching me. And I didn't know that we're going to end up in the same camp. So we're just chatting. And before you know it, Yemi is attached to my hip. Somehow, it just seemed like destiny had it in store for us. Yemi's platoon was in platoon next to me. So we always had chances to run into each other. There were so many people in Lagos camp, but somehow Yemi will find me. I don't know which kind of eye he had. Now looking back, it was kind of creepy. Now if you're a silly girl <laughs> and you are not silly in Jesus name, we will not be silly women. If you're a silly girl, do you know what you would do? If you are one of the people that Paul was talking about, you'll be like, ah, is this not destiny? Oh my God, are we meant to be? I believe that sometimes God engineers things like that. And I believe 
that also the enemy engineers things like that don't be a silly girl a couple of days later yemi is like wow well, I, I really think you're for me like i'm praying about it i sense that you're the one for me he's giving me all these compliments this dude don't know me or he's only known me for four days plus the one day that he saw me having my meltdown in abuja i prayed this is another one that christian guys used to use girls these are another nuggets let's just pause here mm -hmm. girls i won't bury me you remember me to bad be very careful actually if you're a spiritual sister make sure that you're led you're seriously being led by the spirit of god because the devil can't speak to you in your language in what you like if you look in the book of matthew 4 at <laughs> the temptation of jesus the devil was speaking to jesus in scriptures or with scriptures obviously obviously the scriptures were twisted and they were warped and they were out of context but the devil was speaking to Jesus with scriptures. So you have to be very careful. So when somebody comes to him, the Lord said, I'm like, mm -hmm. so I pray about it for two days and I hear a definite no. And so I explained to him, I was like, I'm sorry, I don't have a clear leading that this is the will of God. And I'm like, if I start going to mommy markets with you, start doing all these things, I'm like, it can lead to somewhere I don't want to end up. So let's just not even, uncle was so crushed. Now, this is where I started saying, God, are you sure? I just want to stop here and say, ladies, obviously, I cannot sit down here and tell you my experience is gospel because it's not. That's just my experience. But I'm just saying that if the Lord has told you something eh, and you're sure, like you're 100% sure like this is God, don't go back on it. Honey, if the Lord has said something to you, he's not going to go back on his word. There are situations where the Lord says wait or the Lord is saying this relationship is not the time. But if the Lord says no, Oh, don't go there oh my little that's that's what my own situation ships taught me one when the lord says no it's a no don't be a silly woman <laughs> don't be led by different things or oh, be running to each other five times in a day you can run into fly you can run into goats you can run into anybody as many times as you want to it doesn't mean that you have this destiny be as realistic as possible don't dream stop dreaming you can dream after he has proposed to you. You can dream while you're looking at the rock on your hand. Obviously, there were other situationships throughout the NYSC year, but it was the same concept of, okay, Lord, enter inside the room. Let's talk about this guy. Who is he? What is he? And where is his future? Where is he going? Take every little thing to God. I love this scripture that says, who is man that you're mindful? Mind, you're only mindful of somebody you have a crush on. At least I am. Like if I like a guy, I'm mindful of him. Like, oh my God, he's going to be in the room today. Oh my God. Who is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you visit him? There's no relationship or situationship too small or too big that you can't take to God. And I love that. I love that about the Holy Spirit. Like God, I'm feeling this dude what you think he cares even to the littlest minutest test details he truly does care and the earlier you bring him on board i think the better there's so many situationships and relationships that i have avoided because immediately i start noticing that hey i'm catching feelings <laughs> Holy Spirit, I like this bobo. Ah, clear. He cares about it. He cares about every single detail. I hope this helps and I hope you got value from this video. If you did, smash the like button. And I'm sad I have told you all my situationships, at least the ones in camp. Which one have you been in? Have they been similar? What did the Lord say to you? And why you are doing that? Just help me to subscribe. Is that red button right there? Subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Also, girls, thank you for all these video ideas. I'm running out of ideas. Please, if you have something that you would like me to talk on, this is your channel. It's for you. It's your own. Subscribe. Seriously. <laughs>